Hello and welcome to round three highlights here at the 2019 United States Disc Golf Championship. James it's moving day today and this man, James Conrad, made his move. Sitting on top of the chase card, he would look to get his round started off a little bit better than in days past. He has not birdied it for the first two rounds. This time though, no problem, easy two. No, he hits first available on the second hole here. Old hole number four. Out of the bushes and a sidearm approach, not often seen from James, but puts himself in position, but cannot knock it down and finds himself in the trees, putting for bogey, no problem. Now on hole four, we have not seen a ton of birdies this weekend, but James laughs in the face of adversity, knocks down one of his own. Hole six, he should have this hole on lockdown, a backhand thrower's dream, but the T-Bird goes a little bit long. That's out of bounds over to the drop zone, stabs it straight at the out of bounds, saving that par and keeping him on pace. Clown's mouth, now hole seven, putter up the middle. That is the James special. He is three for three on that for the weekend. Cutting over to hole 10 now where James would get aggressive. 10 went for the eagle again and actually went about four feet long of the OB line, so that left me at the drop zone. Um, was able to get up and down for par and had a really nice stretch through the what through the holes that can sometimes blow up, like um, 11 through 11 through 14, through 13 and 14. I birdied all four of those, which felt really nice. It's definitely some good momentum. And then 15 caught some trouble, almost made it through the mando. I'm throwing MD4 to try to get the right placement and clipped the mando tree and shot into the rough on the left. Um, I had a good out with a flick roller, but wasn't able to get up and down. So a bogey there. That bogey on 15, taking James off a four hole birdie streak, but no problem getting right back into the action on 16, throwing that perfect Heiser flip mid ranges. Maybe one of the most beautiful shots to watch fly. That's the birdie through the cheese sticks on 16. With an opportunity to run at birdie putt on 18, James thinks better of it, preserving that two-stroke lead. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to the game plan, play play pretty aggressive. Um, down the, yeah, it's hard to say down the home stretch it could be different, but um, yeah, going in that's that's the idea. While James was having a field day on chase card, Nathan Queen would look to make a mark of his own. Here, getting his round started on hole one, leaving it off to that left side. Slow drift back, but a little bit of ground action. Oh, he is starting off hot. Nathan is pumped, heading into round three. Birdie on one, birdie on two. Jumper for the birdie on three. That's three for three to start. But after a bogey on hole four, hole six would have his number as well. Extremely tough lefty shot. Does get caught up at an early tree. No, a little low on the approach. Out of bounds to the drop zone and can't quite knock it in. Hole eight though, looking to get back on track. Around the outside, drops it in. Gallery loves it. Nathan does too. That putt getting a fire started in Nathan, which would lead him to birdie six of the next nine holes. Finishing off with this one, hole 16, been playing it wonderfully all weekend long. Drops it in again, these cheese sticks playing a role. Unfortunately, that is when the good news would end because 17 loomed large today. Hanging it too far off that left side, we're gonna re-tee. Now, throwing three and he knows it out of his hand, it's a little weak. He's gonna have to re-tee, throwing five. Finally able to get a clean release out, he is gonna land on the island, albeit longer than he'd like. It felt good to hit that putt, but it's, it's, um, it's pretty hard to get yourself back together after something like that. After being tied for the lead, Nathan's triple bogey bogey finish is gonna take him all the way down to fourth. Overall, the round just went so up and down that there's nothing I'm gonna think about from today going into tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna reach back to how I was feeling before, forget about today completely, and then just restart tomorrow. 
After Chris and Nico both had off starts, it was Eagle left standing and battling Nathan on lead card. We saw Eagle go a bit right on his tee shot during round two. Round three does make the adjustment. Talk about adjustments, hole six. We saw him clip that early tree on this unbelievably aggressive line on six. Today though, cards the birdie. Hole 12 now after a three hole birdie streak. This is where Eagle lives, the open. He is able to bomb here, well over 600 feet, putting himself in perfect position to knock in his fourth consecutive birdie on these nasty open holes. But late in the round, he would slip and emotions would rise. Here, missing inside the circle on 14. Hole 15, very demanding tee shot, does catch early and flares around the Mando. That's gonna be another par. Hole 16, he misses and he punches the ground. Keep an eye on that hand as it may become relevant during our final round here on Saturday. He would finish out with a six under par, two strokes off of James's lead. Albert Tom has a thing for majors as he's appeared on lead card both at the European Open. Now he's made an appearance at the US DGC. He would have a hot start going four for four, but after two mid-round bogeys, he would get back on track here on 17, sliding over the hay bales. Albert looking to secure his best finish at a major. He is in perfect position to do so heading into that final round. Checking in with our leaderboards, James Conrad, as I said before, has that two-stroke lead over Eagle. Albert, Nathan, and Chris Dickerson are gonna follow him up. Man of the hour, Nico DeCastro after that big albatross, still in contention. Speaking of that albatross, here it is. And as much as I wanna talk over it, I think I'll just sit back, relax, and enjoy just over 20 seconds of pure Nico. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out content from all of our media producers this week at the 2019 US DGC.